812, we are joined by our political analyst, John Dadian. Thanks for being with us this morning. A Good lot morning. going on at City Council. Somebody will, uh, will have a new City Council member picked tomorrow. Oh. Uh, Monday, rather. I'm already thinking we're on Sunday. We're Saturday, Monday. Which there's 20 contenders. Give us a top five. All right, it, it really is. Again, it's not a surprise because this you get on a silver platter to be a, a council member for approximately six months. So 20 people applied. Uh, there's probably five top ones. Uh, retired uh, Judge uh, Coates is uh, certainly in the in the running. A uh, former Assembly member uh, Howard Wayne has actually applied. Uh, so that's a big one. Right. Re retired Attorney John Wirtz. Keep your eye on her him because he was a big community activist when he was an active lawyer. So I think he has a lot of uh, support. Gretchen Newsom. Big community activists in that district. Here's some little interesting housekeeping details. You have to live in what we call the old council district two because we're still seeing the effects of redistricting. So the June election will be the new district two, but this is you have to live in the old district two because this has happened since that last election. So some of the people did not qualify who were who were considering running. Uh, keep your eye on Elaine uh, Caloris. She's a disabled advocate, and I got to tell you, the council likes those credentials. Right, right, right. And going forward, what do you see with Kevin Faulkner? He's been in office for a little less than a month now. How do you think the city council is doing now? He's running like a man on fire. I mean, he just, the first day he started, he's already done several trips to Mexico, which was one of his campaign pledges uh, to do that. But he's also, he said his big priority, which we will see here very shortly, is the budget. And that's really what you want to focus on, because that's going to be his legacy as when he starts this for several years on what, what he tells the council is his priorities. And then the the wheeling dealing goes on to whether or not the council agrees with the mayor's proposed budget. And, and really quickly, where do you think that budget is going to hit? If it, if it takes a hit, where do you think, what sectors are going to be affected? Well, uh, we don't know because the economy has picked up and Bob Filner added several things. So it's going to be kind of hard to cut, to be honest with you. But again, they've already, uh, through interim mayor Todd Gloria and currently through Mayor Faulkner, they've addressed some things that were the Filner debacle, such as cutting the lobbyists. I mean, that was a total, you know, not smart for a city, et cetera. So I, I think the council and mayor are going to come to come together and really put together a good budget and, and cut very very, did not cut very many items. Speaking of lobbyists, Supreme Court made a big decision this week, making headlines. They overruled campaign donations. What do you make of all that? It, it, it was amazing how two sides really disagreed. Uh, what, one argument is that this is bad because it lets big money come in, but I certainly argue that it's a very good thing because, you know, freedom of speech, I do think it's, a, it's an amendment uh, uh, constitutional right that you should be able to contribute to whoever you want. Before, there was an aggregate total how many congressmen you could uh, uh, donate to if you wanted to donate the maximum. So you literally you had to, as you got down the list, you had to maybe not support everybody you want to. That now is no longer the law of the land. All right. Political analyst John Dady, and awesome. thanks for being with thanks us. Thanks a lot. And I see the Marine Corps pin on your uh, on your lapel. Many there. We're moons gonna go, ago. We're going to give a shout out to all our servicemen and women out Thank there you very this much. morning. Appreciate